first of all, you have to have a first nest. So in itself, that's already going to give us more harrier nests. And then if there's another one within 10 kilometers, the landowners um, involved can ask for one of those nests to be brood managed, which means the chicks just after hatching are lifted, taken to the writs of raptor um, rearing centers, where they are looked after without imprinting on humans, but they're looked after so that they can then um, feed themselves, thermoregulate, and then they move back up to the moors into suitable habitat on our members' land, but not where they were taken from, not immediately where they were taken from. So we're spreading out the population and we're removing the need for that second nest to be fed from that moorland area. So the impact on the prey species is, is less. So can I ask you a very personal question? Who's paying for this? Um, the Moorland Association is paying for this. All of the, all of the nests involved, um, certainly Natural England's view is that these birds are absolutely thumping fit. They are yeah. incredibly healthy and, and more so if they hadn't had that intervention. There's certainly been gamekeepers feeding wild nests, if you like, the first natural nest that left in place. If the keepers hadn't been diversionary feeding those, then we would have lost more chicks because it's been a tough old year for birds out there. We needed a genuine solution. So this scientific trial, which is what it is, um, is trying to seek answers to that question. Um, but it wouldn't have happened unless the, the vested interest, which is the moorland owners, were paying the bills. So we're paying the bills. Just, I'll just trot through the figures so, so that we're clear in our heads. Since 2018, and we've had a licence to breed manage, we have seen those, the, the amount of chicks going up by 800%, which I think is immensely amazing and brilliant and good. And to use the words of um, RSPB, Pre this time, they said, you know, if you have nests on grouse moors, we will shout it from the rooftops. Well, I'm still waiting for that, um, but I live in hope. Um, so that's good. So this year there were 31 breeding attempts, 24 successful nests, 19 of those on moorland managed actively for red grouse. Setting off on this journey um, and, and convincing government that this is, this is the new thing that we must try. Um, it was, I had a mandate for my membership to go and get this trial up and running. There are some data still to come in, that's what they're waiting for, and I wait with bated breath, but we'll know it'll be at least 77 chicks, which is awesome. Last year it was 60 chicks, that was record-breaking, and that broke the record from the year before. So three years on the trot, we have broken the record for hen harriers in England. Well, congratulations, and thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. The persecution of hen harriers is, is now not such a hot topic because, let's face it, they're doing quite well now.